Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Amanda and today I'm back with a tutorial on how we can make some custom artwork like all the items you see hanging from my walls. These have been created by me using the HP OfficeJet 4650. It's a super smart printer, but not only that, it does your printing, scanning, faxing, all the things that you want a printer to do and it's web connected, so it's super simple to use. So we're gonna start off today with the not all those who wonder are lost quote and I found all these as free printables on Pinterest and you can find any artwork you wanna do, but I'm gonna use this one for my tutorial. So we are going to download it and once you have it downloaded, you can then save it to your computer or you can automatically select to print it. And for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna show you without using my computer, I'm gonna do it straight from my phone. So I've downloaded it to my phone and I can open up the photo and from there I can select print or I can use HP's app that you can use to access your photo straight from there. And I'm just gonna grab a different photo because I don't have that actually on my iPad. This is just a photo I've taken with my iPad, but you can see from here, I can print it straight off my iPad as well. Super easy to use and I love this feature. So as many of you know, I have insanely slow internet speed. So this does take a bit just to get the process all started, but this is not the printer's fault. This is just because of my internet speeds. But let's go ahead and talk about HP's Instant Ink service and a big thanks to them for being the sponsor of today's video. So how this service works is you buy an eligible printer and these are basically smart printers. And what it's gonna do is as you use ink, it's gonna send a notification to the service, which you have to sign up for in the beginning. And it's gonna send a notification letting it know that you're running low on ink. So the plans start at only $2.99 a month and it's supposed to save you 50% on your ink. And if you're like me, ink seems like it's crazy when I go purchase it. So pretty cool service that they have. So this is just a $4 cheap, frame from Walmart that I thought looked decent and I am going to disassemble it and use the glass to measure out exactly where I want this centered and just draw some lines where I can trim this piece of photo paper down. Once we have it all trimmed up, then we are just going to assemble everything back in our frame and hang it on our wall. And what's really great about this is this is so cheap and easy to do. You can change these anytime you get bored with them. You can change them seasonally. You can change up the colors, anything you want. So the next project, you are going to need a canvas and Mod Podge along with your scissors and some type of glue or glue stick. And I just used a foam brush because they're cheap. And I printed off a quote again from Pinterest that was a free printable. And I am just going to glue all over this and try to make it as smooth as possible on top of my canvas so there's no bubbles. And then after that, we are going to use the Mod Podge and our little brush and apply it all over here as evenly as possible. Now, don't be afraid, this does look like it's going to be white on top of it, but I laid mine in front of a fan just to speed up the process, and it comes out crystal clear once it dries. So I think this canvas just gives a little bit of a dimension and changes things up on your walls from your normal photo frame. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Also, I will leave links down below where you can pick up the 4650 by HP. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.